so beautiful. Yeah, when he looks at you like that. All right, so we're on to our third activity here in Melbourne, Australia. We're going to the Werribee Open Range Zoo. There's safaris that you can do to see all different types of animals around the world. It's going to be a great activity. Tickets are about $42 each Australian, and then if you want to add on to that, it's $56 for the safari portion. Definitely worth it if you're going to be coming to Australia only once in your lifetime. You get to see animals from around the world that you're never going to be able to get to see again. Make sure to put it on your list of things to do when you come to Melbourne, Australia. Okay guys, we are now at the Open Safari Zoo. We are going on the Deluxe Safari Tour. It was $56 for this tour, but it's well worth it for the animals that you get to see. We're in a large zoo at the moment, but the Open Safari Deluxe Tour takes you out into the open safari that they have an extra 200 hectares of that lets you see animals you get to see nowhere else in the world. The Werribee Open Range Zoo is a one-of-a-kind zoo located just outside of Melbourne. It's unique because the animals here live in large, open areas that mimic their natural habitats. Instead of cages, you'll see giraffes, zebras, and other African animals roaming free in expansive savannas. It's an incredible experience to see these majestic creatures up close and personal, and it's all done in a way that's safe and respectful to the animals. One of the highlights of the Werribee Open Range Zoo is the safari tour. On this guided tour, you'll hop on a special vehicle that takes you through the savannas giving you a chance to see the animals in their natural habitat. When you go out and do the safari, they take you out on a large open bus, seats about 20 people. Again, it is a reservation type thing. You need a ticket to get onto it. There is a free bus, but there's also a paid bus that will give you access to more of the open range than the free one, hence the price increase. So we lucked out on this safari deluxe tour because usually, like I had said, there's 20 people, but as you can see, there are two people, Megan and I. So we get a private deluxe tour, just the two of us and the driver. This is gonna be epic. You'll get up close and personal with giraffes, rhinos, and antelopes, among other species. So we have just finished the Open Safari Deluxe Package Tour, and we got to see a lot of incredible animals out there. Biggest ones notable are the rhinos and the giraffes. Make sure, like I said, to definitely do this. Put it on your list. You will be thanking yourself when you go home and you have these memories of these incredible animals in front of you that you got to see. The tour itself is 75 minutes long. Make sure to bring a jacket or a sweater just in case it does start to rain or it gets a little bit colder. For us, we had some good weather today, thankfully, but you never know, Mother Nature can always give you something different. So a big part of what makes this open reserve amazing is the fact that the scenery around here really puts you into the perspective of being in the wild. It's set around an African style theme, which just amplifies the excitement and realisticness of what you're viewing. So when you come here, really take that in because a lot of other places out there do not look like this, especially for zoos. This being an open safari, it really gives you that perspective. The Lion Pride Lands exhibit is a great place to see the majestic lions lounging in the sun, and the gorilla exhibit is a must visit for anyone interested in primates. So we've just seen the lions in the lion den. We saw two lionesses and one alpha male, and to put it into context, the size of them is you can't. Think of a house cat and then times it by like 50. It's monstrous. Really puts perspective into the Lion King if you've ever seen it in regards to Mufasa and Simba and the other lionesses. It was impeccably good. We thoroughly enjoyed it. We could have looked at that cat all day. You want to give it a hug, but you know you shouldn't. Another cool thing about the Werribee Open Range Zoo is that they offer a range of experiences that allow you to get even closer to the animals. For example, you can go on a behind the scenes tour to learn about how the zookeepers care for the animals, or you can even book a special encounter with a particular animal like a rhino or a giraffe. These experiences provide a unique and unforgettable way to learn about and connect with the animals. Overall, the Werribee Open Range Zoo is a must-visit destination for anyone who loves animals and wants to learn more about them in a fun and engaging way. Well, that marks the end of the tour for us here at the Open Safari Werribee Zoo in Melbourne, Australia. 
We just went and saw the silverback gorillas. They were unfortunately sleeping, so we didn't get to see a ton of them. Big highlight of the whole open range zoo, the lion, Simba Mufasa.